A world without metal. Good, that's not music anyway. Calm down, boomers. I'm talking about the elements. You know, copper, silver, lead, iron, and, you know, whatnot. What if they all just disappeared overnight? As if someone has meddled with our metal. So, no more spoons and coins. Big deal, you say. Not so fast. You can go ahead and say goodbye to that phone of yours. And the tablet, TV, computer, all the blinky fun stuff. They're not just made of plastic and a glass screen. Metals are most often used as conductors of electric current. Without them, all our flashy toys are useless. Plus, they have metal parts inside them. And you know what that all means? No more internet. Yep, it's getting bad real fast. All modern ways of communication are no longer. You could write a letter, but how will you send it? Carrier pigeons? This metal-free world has also lost all modern means of transportation. Cars, motorcycles, bicycles. I suppose the mail person could deliver letters on horseback. Just look at it. Traffic jams of horses filling the road. And other stuff on the roads. You can probably forget about wooden carriages and buggies. How are you going to cut down a tree without a saw or axe? Hold on a second. Didn't I just say metal is used to conduct electric currents? Yes, yes you did, Brightside. Good answer. Great, that means no more electricity. We've entered the dark ages. No artificial light source will work without metal. Even if we can somehow conduct current without metal wires, cords, and power lines, there still won't be any light, at least not at night. After all, the simplest incandescent bulb works by tungsten metal being heated up. Okay, I guess it's back to candles. But electricity isn't just about lights and sockets. You won't have running water. The main station uses electricity. Plus, showers and faucets are usually made of metal or brass. Mm. No shower and no shave. All the men in the world will walk around with long beards. We'll have to cook on stone stoves, which is pretty tasty, by the way. No more fast food. Come to think of it, humanity is looking more and more like cave people. Well, I'm stinky, hairy, and bored out of my mind without the internet and TV. What can I do for fun? Maybe hit up a concert? I know, no heavy metal if we're still playing with that pun. But the musicians won't have any instruments. Guitars might be made from wood, but those strings are usually steel or nylon. Yes, there's hope. But what about the tuning bits or the steel frets? Okay, fine, give the drummer some bongos, and the lead guitarist can do a sick solo on some wooden spoons. Hope the singer can scream loud enough for everyone to hear, but without a mic and all. And let's not forget about the whole brass section, now playing on kazoos. Wow, what a concert. Maybe I just need a vacation. Attention, passengers heading from New York to Paris. It's now time to board the balloon. Is that what we'd be dealing with in a world without metal planes and ships? I guess travel comes to a screeching halt. No more rings and jewelry. Now, how's that guy over there supposed to get on one knee and propose? My darling, will you marry me? Yes, of course. And he wraps a piece of string around her finger. Wait, I got it. Everybody can use candy rings. Finally, something cool I can get on board with. Hey, buddy, congratulations on the engagement. You might want to get in shape before the wedding. Ah, but in this metal-free world, there are no more weights at the gym. You now have to lift stones. Yeah, a bit harder to get a good grip on. Easy now, don't hurt yourself. Ow! Oh, he just dropped it on his leg. Somebody call an ambulance. Oops, I mean a really fast horse. From the gym to the hospital, this place also looks quite different. Without metals, it wouldn't be possible to carry out an operation. Even x-rays won't be possible. The images produced when x-rays pass through the body are put on a metal film. Well, healing herbs and natural remedies will become the basis of the new, modern medicine. Hope you have something valuable to trade with the doctor for taking care of you. Of course, there are no more metal coins, that's obvious. But paper production is very energy-intensive, which means paper money will disappear as well. What will replace it? Nuts, seeds, cereals, candy rings. Yep, we'll go back to bartering. But this new economy has its advantages. You don't have to break your back in the office for a salary to buy new clothes. It'll be enough to catch more fish in the early morning and then exchange it for a linen shirt. Imagine what the stock market would look like. An unexpected surge of locusts heading south. 
Hurry, buy all the wheat shares. Wait, back up. There wouldn't even be a gym or hospital or any other building. Besides the steel frame keeping the whole thing standing, a lot of the construction materials like concrete and cement have metals in them too. So I guess we get to live in straw huts. Hey, be careful with that fire. Well, we have to find a replacement for metal in this world, right? The answer to this question isn't even hypothetical. Scientists have recently invented heavy-duty polymers, a special plastic that's also as durable as iron, lighter than aluminum, and frost-resistant. It's also flexible and cheaper to manufacture. But most importantly, polymers can conduct electric currents. Does this mean we're saved from living in the Stone Age? Sure, if you don't get technical. But if you do, then I have some bad news. There are metals in the human body. I'm not talking about your grandma's metal hip replacements or Uncle Jim's pacemaker. About 3% of your total body weight is just metals. Doesn't seem like much, but you don't want to take them out, trust me. Among them is calcium. A person needs it for strong bones and teeth. So without it, our skeleton would become fragile like glass. Your muscles need potassium and sodium to work properly. Without these metals, you might have constant muscle cramps, and you probably wouldn't grow normally. Zinc keeps the immune system in working order. That's what helps your body fight off sicknesses and heal cuts and wounds. Magnesium is one of the most important metals in the body. It affects memory, speech, thinking, and attention. Um, what? You also have enough iron in you to make a small nail. Iron helps saturate the body's cells with oxygen. You know, that stuff you need to breathe in to, um, live? Speaking of oxygen, magnesium plays a similar role in plants as iron does with moving oxygen in animals. It's essential for photosynthesis. That's how they turn carbon dioxide into the oxygen we breathe. Good thing you get all the metals you need from your food, and plants get all the magnesium they need from the Earth's soil. Hey, on that note, what would happen to the planet itself if all the metals disappeared? Doesn't it have a core made of iron and nickel? Without the core, Earth loses its magnetic field. And we need that protective magnetic bubble because it keeps the ozone layer in place. The ozone, in turn, protects the planet and everything on it from the sun's UV radiation. For that matter, all the Earth's layers are made up of different metals. The mantle has a bunch of iron, magnesium, and aluminum. The crust, that's the surface part we're all walking around on, is mostly oxygen. But it also has aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Yep, a lot of the stuff that makes up your body. So, no metal, no you, no me, no Iron Maiden or Iron Man, and no Earth. Whew! Good thing this is all just hypothetical. No more meddling with my metal, okay? Yes, I used that joke up at the top. What can I say? I'm recycling. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.